Braviary Hisui is arguably the better of the two Braviary, right? I guess it depends on the scenario, but design-wise it is for sure in my opinion. With its massive special attack stat and access to sheer force with life orb, this thing is a threat. Pair that with agility to double your speed and you're set for life. Today's first battle is against Sasha, and don't get me wrong, it's a short but sweet battle, but this really highlights the power of Hisui and Braviary. So without further ado, I present to you the Braviary Hisui video. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Sasha. So they're going to lead off with <laughs> Pokemon.gg as uh, we lead off with Mig Mig Morse. Uh, wait, what? Ribombe. <laughs> that Pokemon.gg really threw me off. Anyway, Sticky Webs are going to be really good this game, so I'm going to get them up right away. Because why not? They haven't leveled Grim Snarl, which leads me to believe they might not be spec as screens. They go for a Fire Punch. They're a physical Magmortar, which is interesting. I'm going to stun spoil this thing just in case it's belly drum. Stunspot comes through and misses, which is great. They go straight for the Fire Punch again, and that's going to take us out. So Ribombe goes down. Not the end of the world, that's for sure. So I want to get my Stealth Frogs up, so I'm going to bring Iron Treads in. I know it's a bit risky, but I I'm pretty confident based on the fact Ribombe took a Fire Punch without breaking its Sash, that we can take a Fire Punch pretty well as well. Magmortar's not known for its physical attack. I mean, it's got cannons as arms. Um... But Belly Drum Magmortar is actually really heat, and I'm going to use that in a future video. So Stealth Frogs can come through now. Stealth Frogs come through. We can definitely take a Fire Punch, no problem. It's just if we get burned, that's going to be annoying. So they go for a Fire Punch. That's going to definitely do a lot of damage. Nice bit of chip for them. Now they probably switch out here. So I'm going to go for a knockoff, expecting a switch. We go for a knockoff. They do stay in. They're probably Flame Body as well, right? No, they go for a Focus Blast. That's going to KO us. Yep, Iron Treads goes down to a Focus Blast. That's really unfortunate. So, um, unfortunate as it is, it's not the end of the world. I think we go Braviary straight away, personally. I think we go Braviary straight away. I'm looking at the team and I'm thinking, you know what? Let's do it. Let's just screw around. Let's Terra Fairy Agility. Well, I'm, I'm pondering about the Thunderbolt that they could be doing. So, we Terra Fairy, which is going to make us uh, neutral to that Thunderbolt. As long as they don't paralyze us, we should be all right. So Terra Fairy, we should take the Thunderbolt pretty well. I mean, they're, they're clearly a mixed set. It's whether they're more focused on attack or special attack, I guess. Um, so they go for a Fire Punch instead, which is going to do no damage. We get the agility off. And we are gone. This Magmortar is not switching out at all. So let's go for a Psychic. It should take it out from here, right? Psychic comes through. Magmortar goes down. There we go. So Magmortar is out of there, which is amazing. <laughs> Another Pokemon.gg. Porygon Z comes in. It's going to get some Sticky Webs and some Stealth Rock, which is nice. Which tells me that they aren't Heavy Dew Boots. They're probably choiced. Let's go for a Psychic and take this thing out. If they Terra Dark here, then we're screwed, but they haven't. Let's see if we take them out in one shot. Oh, we do. What a clean KO. Porygon Z's not exactly the most frail Pokemon in the world, right? Oh, is it Porygon 2 I'm thinking of? PKM.GG comes in again. Iron Hands. They've got a Terra, right? That's like the only reason you bring this in is a Terra, right? Unless they're Assault Vest and they're expecting to take the Psychic. I don't think they can. I think they might do. Psychic comes through. They don't Terra. Oh, an Iron Hands from full. A KO on the Iron Hands from full. That's awesome. Iron Hands is notoriously bulky. But Life Orb, Sheer Force, Boosted, Braviary is just too strong. This Greninja's coming in thinking, you know what, I'm going to take a Psychic because I'm a Dark type. But unfortunately for you, my friend, you're not Heavy Duty Boost, so you're going to get that Stealth Rock chip. We go for an Air Slash, and as long as we don't miss, we should be all right. Air Slash comes through, we don't miss. Oh, that was a clean nearly KO. They go for a Liquidation, that's going to definitely... Oh, it does a lot. Not enough to KO. We go for another Air Slash. Hopefully, they're not Water Shuriken. Air Slash comes through. They're not Water Shuriken or Quick Attack or anything like that. Greninja goes down. We've got Rhyperia left and we've got a Grimmsnarl left. Pokeven.com. I don't know what that is. Grimmsnarl comes in. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. Nice and hacked shiny because it's Pokeven.com. <laughs> they get caught in the sticky webs and they get some Stealth Frog Chip. Let's see how much this Air Slash does to them. Let's see how much Air Slash does. If they light screen, then they're, they're, they're goaded. Air Slash comes through. They are an offensive one. Holy crap, that nearly takes them out. Dark Pulse comes through and finishes off the Braviary. But you know what? 
Screw it, this can be first battle. Because I've been battling with this Braviary for ages and, and it finally KOs four Pokemon in a battle, nearly KOing a fifth. Amazing, amazing stuff right there. So let's go into our Blaziken and let's just do a little bit of a... A little bit of a um, Endure tech here. We go for the Endure. We should see a, a Spirit Break here, right? Nasty, nasty plot. I ain't messing around with no nasty plot. I'm messing around with no nasty plot right now. I'm just going to go for a fire punch here. They go for a fake tears. And they are prankster. It's going to lower our special defense. But you know what? Get bopped in the face of a fire punch. Down it goes. Critical hit. Didn't matter. Awesome. Now we got the Rhyperia. Now Rhyperia is an interesting one. It's very physically bulky. And also... It hits really hard, and it's got this solid rock ability, which halves the damage from super effective attacks. So I'm wondering whether or not Reversal will KO or not. Um, so we definitely go for an Endure here. We definitely go for an Endure here, because they're going to go for an Earthquake. They have to. So we go for an Endure. We get the Lychee Berry as well, so he's definitely going to KO, right? They go for the EQ. That's going to take us down to our Endure. This thing doesn't get a Cellar Rock or anything like that, so we don't have to worry about that. We got a lychee berry pop in. I'm wondering whether Braviary would have been able to KO this thing with one shot with Psychic. Who knows? Maybe. They're going to Terror. What type are they going to Terror into? Something that's not weak to fighting, probably. They're going to go Terror Rock. So they're not, they are weak to fighting still. Why are they terrestrializing? I mean, it doesn't matter, really. I guess they're just doing it to see the cool hats. We go over a reversal. Cleanly takes out the Rhyperia in one shot. Down it goes. See, if that was close combat, that wouldn't have KO'd. It might not have KO'd. It might have done. I don't know. Anyway, GG though, Sasha. That was a that was a really fun, a short but sweet one, that's for sure. See what I meant by short but sweet? This next battle has Braviary put some work in. It hits really hard and all, and it's against Presidential 17 from the Pokemon Battle Hub Discord. So with that being said, let's jump into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Presidential. So they're going to lead off with Empoleon as I led off with the Iron Treads. I wanted to get the Stealth Rocks up right away because looking at the team, their only defogger is the Galarian Weezing, which Iron Treads can handle. However, Empoleon's a bit of a problem. So we don't want to stay in against Empoleon, that's for sure. So I'm going to switch out into Aloma Mola first and foremost just to take the hit. So we withdraw. What do we What do we go into again? We go into um, Aloma Mola, right? Yeah, so because if they go for a flip turn here, expecting a switch... We can get some Rocky Helmet Chip. So they actually withdraw the hard switch. They didn't want to get hit by an Earthquake, which makes sense. And they're going to go into Salamence. So Salamence is an interesting one. It could be special or physical. Usually physical with Dragon Dance. Looking at their team, I'd say probably special. But I'm going to go for a Scald anyway, just to try and burn it. They go for a Hurricane. So they are special, but they do miss. Hurricane's only like 70% accurate. So, you know, you, you're, you're bound to miss a lot of those. So anyway, uh, Scald does a, uh, no damage. Goats no burn. We now go for a flip turn now that we know it's special. We, they hit the hurricane. We should take it though. We do take it like a champ. We go for a flip turn. And get on out of there. So that's great. I'm, I'm glad I've got special defense investment on this Alola Mamola. Because otherwise it just died to that. It just got too shotted easily. So what do we go into now? I'm leaning towards the Dragonite because the multi-scale. Um, I do need to weaken the Salamence and the Glorian Weezing. So this could be a good opportunity to do that. So I think... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Dragonite. We haven't seen Life Orb, so they could either be Boots or Specs. Probably not Specs, otherwise that would have done a bit more to the Aloma Mola, probably. Uh, if we assume they're going to switch out to Glaring Weezing here, we should go for an Ice Spinner, because it'll still KO the Salamance. They go for a Draco. Interesting. So we should live that. We do live that, because thanks to the multi-scale. Uh, special attack does drop. We go for an ice spin, and this is the this is the part where we weaken the salamance, right? I'll KO it straight up. There we go. We KO the salamance, so that's great. So salamance is down. We've now got the wheezing to deal with. We need to get rid of the wheezing, and wheezing's possibly the Pokemon they bring in here. Crocodile comes in. So the fact they brought Crocodile in tells me a they've got Stone Edge, or b they're just trying to knock something off or go for a scale shot. So I'm going to withdraw into Ribombe because it, re it resists both stabs. It can take a scale shock. It's immune to it. Um, and if they go for a Stone Age, they go for a Stone Age. We outspeed them the next turn, go for a um, Moonblast. So, it's not the end of the world. Unless they're Scarfed, of course. Um, they do go for a Knockoff, which is going to do a decent chunk of damage. But the next one won't do nearly as much. Um, I'm not going to go for the Sticky Webs because that Empoleon's there. I don't want to give it a competitive boost. So, I'm going to go for a Stun Spore here to try and paralyze this thing. They do withdraw the Crooked Owl. Are they going to go Galarian Weezing or the Empoleon? Empoleon comes in. 
I didn't want to go for a, a moon blast there because I figured they might go into this thing. We do miss the stun spot, which is unfortunate. Um, now what do we do? Let's go for a switch out. We'll go into a, a Loma Moda once again. This time they might actually go for a flip turn or a flash cannon. So we go for the yellow and uh, that's going to be a good switch for us. There we go. We've drawn into our Loma Mola. They go for a surf. And that's going to do no damage, obviously. And then we just go straight for a flip turn. We should be out, uh, outsped here. We actually don't outspeed. So we go for a flip turn. Now they're either going to go for a flip turn of their own or they're going to go for a grass knot. One of the two. Um, so I believe, personally, if they're going to go for a flip turn, I believe, personally, we should go into the um, Dragonite. So I'm going to go into Dragonite. For, uh, scare them out of an Earthquake, even though we don't have it. They go for a flip turn. So are they going to go Galarian Weezing now? That's the real question. I don't think they will, because it, it, unless they're Levitate, which they probably are Levitate. If they Levitate, they'll bring that in. My boss stiff is the one that comes in, which is an interesting one. So have they got Intimidate on this thing, or is it Stake Out? No Intimidate, so we know it's Stake Out. So now we can go into our Ribombe. I am I am fully expecting them to, to KO the Ribombe with Crunch. Because obviously Stake Out is a thing, and it doubles the power of moves if you switch. Um, so it punishes switching for all those anti-switches out there. Uh, they go for a Crunch that's going to take us out, no doubt. Yep, Crunch takes us cleanly out because that's Stake Out. Um, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. So now we've got a couple of options. We could go Blaziken. But it's a bit early for Blaziken, I think. It's a bit early for Blaziken, I think. So I'm leaning towards you. I think I'm going to go into the Iron Treads and get the Sticky Webs up. That baits the Glaring Weezing out to go for a Defog, right? So we're floating the air of our Air Balloon, which is all well and good. We go for a Stealth Rocks here because they're either going to switch out or they're going to stay in an attackers with Close Combat. Uh, crunch. Sorry. I don't think they get close combat or earthquake or anything like that. And they do go for a crunch though. That's going to do a lot of damage. Just half. Our air balloon pops. And now I'm just going to go straight for a... I'm going to go for a knockoff just in case they do switch. But they don't. We go for a knockoff. We get rid of our item which is useful. As a, they have got a choice ban. So we should be able to take this next crunch no problem. As a, that does not take us out luckily. So let's go for an EQ this turn. Just to get the damage off on the Maboss diff. And then we'll let them take us out with whatever they want to go for. They go for a crunch. So crunch is fine. So. Now what do we do? Um, I'm leaning towards the uh, the Blaziken to go for a fire punch. So I'm going to go into Blaziken. Go for a fire punch. Should be golden. So Blaziken comes in. We go for a fire punch. They go. Oh, they outspeed us. Oh, they outspeed us. Interesting. So we pop our lychee berry. I didn't think they'd outspeed Blaziken. I, I didn't realize my boss diff was that fast. We get our lychee berry. We go for a fire punch that takes out my boss diff, which is great. So my boss diff goes down. Now we've got a speed boost. They're probably thinking, right, let's go into Entei. Right? That's what they're probably thinking. Now Entei can't be flinched within a focus. Which is the only downside. So I'm wondering how upper hand works in that regard. So we go into um We go into this thing. We go for a Endure just to see what they're gonna do. They might lock themselves into something else. Because they could be banded or they could be AV or something. And um, they do go for the extreme speed, which is gonna KO they'll well, not KO us, but take us down to one HP. Uh, we get the speed boost, which is great. And then we go straight for the upper hand just to see if it works. It does work. Nice. Does it flinch them? No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work on an inner focus Pokemon. That's good to know. Good to know. So now we're in a bit of a predicament. But at the same time, we're not. I am leaning towards them going going for the uh, switch into Aloma Mola. But at the same time, I'm not. Um, I say we go Aloma Mola. I think that's a good idea. We go Aloma Mola. Like so. And we go for a flip turn. Because they're going to switch out, right? They withdraw the Entei. What are they going to go into? Um, it's good to know that upper hand won't flinch. I mean, I know it's inner focus, but like upper hand's one of them weird moves where I thought it might bypass it. So we go for a flip turn on the incoming Empoleon, which gets some Stealth Rock chip as well. Um, so we do a little bit of chip damage to that, which is great. Now we need to weaken this thing for Braviary to do something. So I'm going to go into my Dragonite. I'm going to go into Dragonite, like so. And uh, they get some leftovers recovery, which is fine. 
We now go ahead and go for a... If we assume they're going to expect an Earthquake, we should go for a Dragon Dance. So if we withdraw the Empoleon like you'd expect. And they're going to go into probably the Crocodile. Interesting. So Crocodile comes in. We go for a D-Dance. They get some Stealth Rock Chip, which breaks a potential Sash. We go for the Dragon Dance. Golden. Absolutely golden. So, the question is, are they Choice Scarfed or not? Choice Scarf Crocodile is a thing. Um, so I think I go for an Extreme Speed here. Um, Extreme Speed should take it out. Well, nearly take it out, which it does. Does over half. They go for a knockoff. That's going to KO the Dragonite. So that's fine. Dragonite out of the way is absolutely fine. What I am going to do now is... They're going to get a Moxie Boost. Ah. I'm going to go for... I want to go Braviary. I want to go Braviary. I really do. It's a Terra Fairy and then just Air Slash this thing in the face. Um, but I'm, I'm going to go Aloma Mola. Aloma Mola. And I'm going to go straight for a Scold. Because if we can burn the Empoleon, that'd be nice. So they're going to Terrestrialize. What type are they Terrestrializing into, though? That's the real question. What type do they Terrestrialize into? They're going to go for a Dark. So they're going to go for that Strong Knockoff. Which is going to impose some... Uh, Rocky Helmet Chip, but you know what? It's fine. They go for that knockoff. They've got a Moxie Boost after all. They could probably do a lot of damage here. Not enough to get a KO, but it does two it KO us. However, the next one won't KO us because of the um, fact that they're going down to a Sculpt. <laughs> uh, I was going to say because they've knocked off our item already, so it won't, have, it won't KO us, but we get rid of the Crooked out, which is great. That's one big threat to Braviary out of the way. Weezing comes in. Nice switch, nice switch. Neutralizing gas fills the air. Blocking our regenerator. However, it's not all it's not the end of the world. Let's go for a wish. Wish comes through. Like so. They go for a sludge bomb, which is gonna do a lot of damage, but it doesn't do too much. We now go for a Hmm. Do we go for a protect? I think we flip turn here, because they probably switch out. No, they don't switch out. We flip turn just to get some damage off. We're hurt by their Rocky Helmet, which means we nearly faint. And we go straight into our Braviary. Braviary can outspeed this thing, it can KO this thing. Absolutely balling. So we'll go Braviary. They go for the Toxic Spikes. Interesting choice right there, considering we've already... Aloma Mola's gonna be the other one affected by it. So we threaten this thing out with a Psychic right now. So let's go for a Heat Wave, to expecting the Empoleon to come in. They do withdraw... Are they going to go into the Empoleon? Can we two-shot the Empoleon with Heat Wave? The effect of the neutralizing gas wears off. We go into they go into Empoleon. Stones dig in, which is great. We go for a Heat Wave. We don't miss, which is nice. That is not a two-it KO, I don't think. But you know what? We're all right. I say we go for another Heat Wave here, um, just to get the damage off. Oh, it KOs with a crit. Braviary! Braviary with a crit right there. Absolute legend. Now in comes Entei. So Entei is a threat. Entei is a threat. They probably have Stone Edge, which is what they're going to go for here. So I'm going to Terra Fairy Psychic right now. So we Terra Fairy. Maybe Terra Steel would have been there. But if they go for a Secret Fire, it's fine. We can live that probably. Because I doubt they're banded on this if they're banded on the boss diff. You know? So let's see what they do. So we Terra Fairy, they go for a Stone Edge, which isn't going to KO us now. Probably won't have KO'd us anyway. We go for a Psychic. Taking out that Entei, which is fantastic. So Entei goes down. Embolion's gone down as well. And then Weezing is left to go for a Psychic on, which is absolutely amazing. There's no way Weezing takes this. It does It does neutralize our sheer force. But I'm still confident that Psychic KOs here because we do have the life orb. So let's go for the Psychic. Boom. Down goes the Weezing. And that is going to be GG. So GG Presidential 17. That was a pretty fun one. I, I enjoyed that one. We got a nice Braviary video as well. That was an awesome game. Braviary being able to win us the game like that in the end was amazing. What a show. The next battle is against Blitzer from the Pokemon Battle Hub Discord. And well... I guess you'll just have to watch and see. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Blitzer. So they're going to lead off with Mew. 
As I let off with my iron treads, so the first thing I want to do is get stealth rocks up. They probably want to do something similar with the Mew, I'm guessing. Um, they can't earthquake us if they have earthquake, which is great. Uh, let's go for a stealth rock right off the bat and just go from there. They withdraw the Mew. They don't want to get slapped in the face of a knockoff, which makes sense. I'm guessing they're loaded dice or something. As uh, Zelectra comes in, the um, Zapdos. Uh, once again, one that doesn't want to get um, knocked off, but at the same time, if we knock it off, it's not the end of the world because we might get staticed. Um, so I think it's fine. Uh, so let's see what we can do here. I'm leaning towards a knockoff. Leaning towards a knockoff. That's for sure. Um, but they're probably going to go for a heat wave. So I'm kind of tempted to not go for a knockoff, you know. Um, I do want to get rid of his heavy duty boost if he's got them, though. So let's go for a knockoff. Screw it. Let's just go for it. Let's go for the knockoff. Get a bit of damage off on them. Knock off his heavy duty boots. And we don't get paralyzed either, which is great. So heat wave is going to come through and it's going to do a lot of damage. But we still live in. We still live in. Unless we get burned. We don't get burned, which is great. So if they're going to go for a heat wave here, we should probably go into Blaziken or Dragonite. Dragonite is probably our best bet here. So we withdraw the Iron Treads. And we go straight into our Knightly, the Dragonite. And I really want to get Braviarian at some point. They go for a Roost to get back the damage they lost on the knockoff, which makes sense. We, we get a free switch in in that case. Um, so now I'm leaning towards Ice Spinner. I'm going to go for the Ice Spinner. If they Terra here... Then we're kind of boned. We go for an Ice Spinner. They do stay in. Probably to go to a Volt Switch. Ice Spinner does a clean 50%. We don't get static. They go for a Thunderbolt. And that's going to do some damage to us. Now they have to switch out, right? They have to switch out. But I'm going to go for an Ice Spinner anyway. So they withdraw, which is fine. Are they going to go into the Mew or the Primarina? Primarina is probably the one. Iron Treads comes in. Interesting. So Iron Treads comes in. We're going to break a potential balloon. And they get some Stealth Rocks digging into them, which is fine. Um, they are booster energy. What's it going to boost? They're probably the attack or speed, right? Uh, attack was heightened, so we do not outspeed it anyway. So we don't want to get hit by an ice spinner ourselves. So what we'll do is we'll switch out after this turn. Um, they more than likely go for a rapid spin. Or... So I might go into a Loma Mola just to punish that rapid spin with the Rocky Helmet. Because we can't block the spin. We haven't got a ghost type. Um, so we, we go into Palindrome 100% of the time here. Like so. And they go for a rapid spin, which is obviously going to do no damage. But it does get rid of those stealth rocks for the Zapdos. And that means that basically we can just go for a flip turn this turn. So they get rid of the stones. They get Rocky Helmet Chip. We go for a flip turn here. Expecting them to switch out into like Zapdos or something. They withdraw the Iron Treads. What are they going to go into? They could go Dragonite. They could go Zapdos. Uh, Zelectra comes in. That's the Zapdos if I remember correctly. Like so. They're not going to be happy because I'm going to go for a flip turn and get on out of there and go into something that outspeeds this thing, like the Dragonite, for example. Because um, Dragonite outsped, which means they're probably a bulky Zapdos. In which case, we only go Dragonite here. Um, an Ice Spinner will hurt the Iron Treads on the switch in. They lost the booster energy as well. And they've lost the Rapid Spin Speed Boost. So we go for an Ice Spinner 100% of the time here. Ice Spinner comes through. They just let the Zapdos go down. Slash maybe thinking I was going to overpredict and go for an Earthquake, expect the Iron Treads to come in. No. We take care of the Zapdos. That's one threat down for Braviary to do its thing. Mew comes back in. So Mew is an interesting one here. Mew could be literally be doing anything here. It could do anything it wants. It could Willow Whispers. It could Ice Beam us. You name it, it could do it. If I assume they're going to go for a Dragon Dance here, I should probably attack with a Dragon Claw and then Extreme Speed. So just because of that, I'm going to go for a Dragon Claw. Um, they go for an Icicle Spear, though. They are a loaded dice set, as I mentioned earlier. Because loaded dice Mew has been making the rounds. And um, not, not in Night OU or anything, but I've, in lower tier, a load of dice me is pretty good with Dragon Dance and stuff. So, um, unfortunately, we do get hit by um, the Icicle Spear and we are going to go down. So, I should have gone for an extreme speed, really, there. But, you know, it is what it is. Let's go into Ribombe and we'll stun spore this thing. Because they've lost their... They haven't lost their only electric type, but they've lost that Zapdos, which was actually a big threat to this thing. Um, so, now I'm going to go for a stun spore, like so. And as long as we don't miss or they don't go into the Golem, which they looks like they might have done... They go into Iron Treads, so paralyzing the Iron Treads is going to be very beneficial to us. Um, we go for the Stun Spore, obviously it's going to do notes, but it does paralyze them. So it does no damage, obviously, but it does paralyze them. Um, now I kind of want to go for a Sticky Webs, but if they go for a Rapid Spin, kind of boned. I think they either go for Stealth Rocks or Rapid Spin to get some speed up. Uh, one of the two, because they know we can't really KO them. So let's go into King. Best case scenario, they get fully paralyzed. Worst case scenario, they, they rapid spin. They do rapid spin, though. That's fine. We should be outspeeding pretty much everything on the team right now. So let's go for a... We should outspeed still. So let's go for a heat wave. Heat wave comes through. We do miss. Braviary missing the heat wave is clutch. 
Oh, but they get fully paralyzed. So let's, let's pretend that turn never happened. The hack gods were just against us then. Let's go for a heat wave again. They withdraw the iron treads this time because they're fearing the heat wave. Now that they've seen the heat wave, that's the only downside to that turn. They go golem. I don't think golem's it. Because heat wave, yeah, it's not going to KO. Still does a lot of damage. And we just go for a psychic this turn, right? Psychic comes through. This golem's got no chance. Golem goes down. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So with golem out for the count. And um, we've got no more Pokemon other than the Iron Treads that can switch into a Stun Spore. Mew comes back in. That's fine. I don't want the Mew to Dragon Dance on me, but I'm going to have to switch out. Um, I'm going to sack off Iron Treads slash uh, bait the Dragon Dance. Um, and then we'll just kind of go from there. So I, I want to get the Stealth Rocks back up. I really do because that Dragonite could be Weakness Policy, could be Choice Banded, probably Heavy Duty Boots. Um, but they go for a Swords Dance. So that's good. Swords Dance is great because we still outspeed them. Which means we get to go for a knockoff here. And I think knockoff on the Mew to get rid of that loaded dice is more important than the Stealth Rocks. So we go for a knockoff. We get rid of that loaded dice, which they probably have. Loaded dice. There we go. They go for an Icicle Spear. And that's going to KO us. So down we go. But now they haven't got the loaded dice. They could very well just hit two times on one of their Icicle Spears. And they have one Dragon Dance up. Uh, Swords Dance up, sorry. So we still outspeed it with some things. Um... I'm going to go into Ribombe here. I'm going to go Ribombe uh, purely for the fact that I want to be able to go for whatever I want. Um, Stealth Rocks would have been really nice. I should have probably gone for the Stealth Rocks. But knocking off that load of dice is probably really useful. So uh, now I'm going to go for a Moonblast. I just want to Moonblast this thing in the face. Get rid of it. And there we go. Down it goes. So Mew goes down to the Moonblast. And now we just have Primarina, which I'm confident Braviary can deal with if it's not Assault Vest. In comes Blaze. That's the Dragon Knight. So this thing wants the Dragon Dance big time. This thing 100% wants the Dragon Knight. Dragon Dance. We stun spore here. We always stun spore. But we miss. Ah, As they Dragon Dance. Ah, That's not good. But you know what? They, they could be Lumberry. But it's pretty uncommon. It's usually Weakness Policy or Banded. But it won't be Banded if it's got Dragon Dance. Uh, or Heavy Duty Boots. So we don't know if it's Heavy Duty Boots. Because we haven't got any hazards up. Let's go for another stun spore. And we hope for the best. They go for an extreme speed. Takes us down to a sash. We go for a stun spore. There we go. And we break that sash. No, 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 no we don't break that sash. We break that speed that it's gained from the uh, thing. So I'm going to go for a skill swap now, just in case. There, there we go. Just in case they got fully paralyzed, then I could skill swap their multi scale away. Or inner focus, whatever they've got. Um, Let's see. Aloma Mola can handle this. No problem. So we 100% go Aloma Mola here. We always go Aloma Mola here. And we flip turn. I think we flip turn. They go for another Dragon Dance, which is terrifying in its own right. It's terrifying in its own right. We we go for a flip turn, though. Because we can't burn them with Scold. So we may as well just break the multi-scale. And then go into something else that can deal some damage to this Dragonite. And I'm leaning towards Blaziken or... Something like that. I'm leaning towards it. Let's go Blaziken because I don't foresee needing Blaziken for much this game. The Iron Treads is already on Death Door and Paralyzed. So I guess we just go for a Fire Punch here or we just go for an Endure. Um, I'm going to go for the Endure because I'm expecting an Extreme Speed. And I'd like to go for an Upper Hand after I've got a Leechy Berry. They go for an Outrage. That's interesting. So Outrage is interesting. We endured the hit. We get the Lychee Berry. And we get to do some mad damage to this thing, pretty much. And um, which is what we want. So we get the speed boost. They go for, yeah, so we go for a reversal here 100% of the time. Reversal comes through. Oh my gosh, that damage is incredible. Blaziken, you monster. Reversal came through then. Wow, that was some damage. I was expecting a little bit of chip, but that's, that's more than a little bit of chip. So let's go Braviary. And this is where we're going to get the Dragonite. So we're going to get one more KO for the Braviary. By going for a Terra Fairy here. And then going for a... Psychic. We go for Terra Fairy Psychic. Making us immune to the Outrage for a start. So we do that. Iron Treads is paralyzed. Pre-Marina is not been on the field yet, so it's at full. 
But I'm confident we can take a hit from the Pre Marina. We don't have to take a hit from the Iron Treads because paralyzed, we should be able to hit the Heat Wave. Um, they actually tried to go for the extreme speed and got fully parallel. No, not the no, 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 no. They didn't try and go for the extreme speed. They just outspeed us because of the uh, plus two in Dragon Dance. So they tried to go for an outrage, but he would have failed anyway because we're Terra Fairy. So regardless of the crit power hacks, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We got a KO on the Dragonites, which is amazing. Quatus the Unrival comes in. That's the pre-marina. We go 100% for a Psychic here. Psychic comes through. I'm confident we can take a hit from this thing if it's not Specs. Oh, the problem is we can't deal any much, much damage to it. So we can take the hit. Let's go for another Psychic. You never know, we might get a crit. They go for an Aqua Jet. Oh, <laughs> whipping out the Aqua Jet. Fair enough. So I think we've lost here. But you know what? This will make a nice little bonus battle. Make a nice little bonus battle right here. So um, we go for an Aloma Mola. There we go. Aloma Mola. And we go. We just got to start spamming Scald at this point. Because they, they've got to have Moonblast. Uh, they've got, they got to hit us with an Energy Ball or something. Uh, they hit us with the Energy Ball. That's going to definitely KO us. Or nearly KO us. It two shots us. We go for another Scald. We outspeed them somehow. Go for another Scald. No damage. They must be Assault Vest or something. Energy Ball comes through. And down we go. So that must be an Assault Vest Pre-Marina, which is why Braviary couldn't break it. Which is fine. Absolutely fine. Um, but you know what? GG Blitzer. That was a fun one. I enjoyed that one. What a bonus game. Another fantastic game. GG Blitzer, for real. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Feel free to use the team using the code at the top right corner of the screen. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.